We're we'll talking HCI next. This is also a holding company. Remember, it's got all sorts of assets over time. The connection with Sactu, Johnny and Marcel's show. Its major asset is it's almost 50% stake in Soho Sun, which of course is the major hotel, gaming, gambling group in the country with assets here and internationally. Market cap of 15.3 billion rand, dividend yield 1%, price to earnings ratio 28.5. JP, in summary, a um, bit of movement here, a bit of unbundlings of the stakes in Sabido and Surtec and Montauk and all sorts of other strange things, Nivius. But the core asset, really, tell me what you think valuation-wise relative to its prospects. So, uh, Torgo Holdings, almost half the portfolio within HCI. Some concerns on the horizon regarding the consistent growth in gambling. Uh, the hotel bit offsets that. Mm -hmm. Hotels have been quite strong. But you see some clouds on the horizon when it comes to gambling, be it people's personal disposable income, some regulation coming into gambling. The Western Cape is a bit of an issue where mm -hmm. the Grand West stake that Togo owns, they wanted to sell a minority stake to Sun International. The Competition Commission uh, is looking at that. The Commission doesn't like it, the Tribunal might. Yeah. So there are a few moving parts. They still have the stake in Nivius, which gives them exposure to limited payout machines, but that's very small relative to the size yeah. of the Togo Holdings yeah. stake. So, yes, some concerns regarding the quality and the current positioning of the gambling assets. And just finally, what about all the U Magazine drama between Johnny Copeland and Marcel Golding? I mean, is that unimportant? I don't think it's unimportant because they together have been managing this company for more than a decade. Mm. Now one of them has departed. Marcel is not involved anymore. So now it's all about Johnny Copeland. Uh, he's got a great, great track record, mm -hmm. but I think the discount has maybe increased because of the issues yeah. that, are, that have happened. And so much so that the discount currently has run 25%. So the largest discount of all the investment holding companies we're looking at today, mm -hmm. uh, which does make it quite interesting as investment case, but some concern regarding the succession planning in this case, now that you only have one man running yeah. the show. Okay, I'm gonna lean towards not hot on this one because I'm not a huge fan of the gaming uh, environment generally. And you know, you've added the extra issues around disposable income. Are you inclined though to go hot on account of the valuation gap? What's your call? It's once again a tough one. In this case, I would say I share your concerns and also have concerns about Sabido. They're trying to use the, the new decoders to uh, get into the uh, pay TV business, mm. uh, piggybacking almost with the new DTT decoders. It doesn't look like that's going to happen. Multi-choice have played the political game very well to try and block them. So I share with you then to say not hot. Not hot. Okay, we're going not hot on this one.